Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be magnified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's Son channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. There is a debate about you. A very serious debate about you. People are looking at you, asking where are you going. Some are saying you are going where and the others are saying we don't know where he or she is going. <laughs> a very strong debate when I mean debate. <laughs> When I mean debate, because you have really changed, you have changed, <laughs> you have changed. When I laugh like this, you need to understand that there is a lot of confusion when your name is mentioned. <laughs> there is a lot of confusion. Sometimes people ask, they ask you, where are you going? Where are you going? Before, they look at you as someone who does, who does not know where he or she was going, and they were very happy. They were very happy, you know. The devil is very cunning. When they see that we are, we don't know where we are going, we don't have direction, they are always happy. Just like when I was homeless, you know, the enemy will always speak, where is your God? Where do you think you are going? We will see how you will get there, you see, you see. <laughs> but in that process, I will still laugh, you understand. I will still laugh and I will say to myself, the earth is the Lord, you know. The earth is the Lord. Wherever I find myself, I will find a home. You understand? I say, I will keep going. Wherever I find myself, I will find a home. <laughs> and the Lord told me, wherever you choose to be settled, when you are there and you say, this is where I, you want to be settled, I will settle you, you know? What they were trying to do then was just like a spirit of vagabond. They were trying to, like, make my life disorganized. So that is why sometimes when you hear me pray against vagabond spirits, I understand how it is. For somebody not to be settled, for you to be looking for where to be settled and you keep moving, 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 <clears throat> and you are a minister. <laughs> so when I speak on some such things, I have the experience, I know where it is, and I understand that God was taking me through that process so that I will be able to speak to people who are on that journey as well, letting you know that you will arrive, letting you know that the earth is the Lord. Letting you know that if God can answer me, he can answer you. Letting you know that if God can bless me, he can bless you. Letting you know that if I can stand strong in the Lord, you too can stand more stronger in the Lord. You can do better than me. Yes, you can do better than me. You can do better than me. Don't let anyone limit you. You can do better than anyone. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. <clears throat> they are looking at you right now. There is a debate about you. A very strong debate is going on about you, hallelujah, because they don't understand where you are going. They don't know if you are going to arrive or if you will not arrive. The Bible says the carnal mind does not understand the things of the spirit, hallelujah. The carnal mind does not understand the things of the spirit, nor does they understand the supernatural things, nor do they understand the things of God, nor do they understand the spiritual aspect of life. What they see is what they know. They don't even understand the things that they don't see. But we have understanding that even the things that we don't see, they are in the hands of God. We have the understanding that even our hope is in the Lord. The Bible says we will look unto the hills from whence cometh our help. Our help coming from the Lord that makes the heaven and the earth. Hallelujah. So why they are asking, where are we going? <laughs> God is providing the help. But why they are asking, will they arrive? God is providing the help. I tell to all, I keep telling us, the earth is the Lord. It is not about who started the race first. Whenever you started your own race, that is when your money, that is when your dawn has come. Hallelujah. That means that it is a new money for you. It is a new dawn for you. So don't allow people who have already started before you. You look at them, oh, that person has started 20 years ago. It's okay. Oh, that person has started 50 years ago. It's okay. People have started and they are gone. Others will still come. Or let's just not come. If they are not tarries, we will still grow, grow, grow and go. Other generation will still come. They will still start. So why not start? Why look at somebody and think that you cannot make it? You can make it if God can bless 
sister A, you can bless brother B. You know the way I think about life. I don't really think about, I don't look at what others have. But one thing that I know that is God, God is blessing everyone. <clears throat> God is blessing everyone. Do you know that? Your blessing might be bigger than my own. My own might be smaller than your own. Your own might be bigger than my own. My own might be, it doesn't matter which one is bigger. What matters is that God is blessing everyone and we have our needs. He provides our needs. That is what matter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, when you look unto the Lord, where your help comes from, child of God, people will not understand. The carnal man will not understand how you are looking unto somewhere that they don't know where it is. They will, there will be a debate. People will think that you are insane. They will think that you are going crazy. People will think that what is wrong with you. But nothing is wrong with you. Your help is coming from the Lord. Let them keep debating if you will arrive or not. Your, your, your decision or the decision of your life is not in the hands of men. It is in the hands of God. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. That may your sister ever you may say that by the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.